All right, hey you guys, what is going on? G.I. Geogamer here, and today I am bringing you a brand new video. Today I am going to be showing you how to record your own videos. Uh, this is a very simple process, it's a little bit complicated. Follow these steps and you'll be set. To start things off, go to google.com, go ahead and go to obsproject.com. In here you will find uh, the open broadcaster software, which is what a lot of YouTubers use. Personally, I prefer to use OBS Studio. Uh, you can just click download OBS Studio right here. Uh, pick whatever uh, operating system you have and um, go ahead and download that. Uh, you can also come up here and download uh, OBS Studio from here. You also could get OBS Classic, it's a slightly simpler version. However, I'm going to be demonstrating OBS Studio. So you go ahead and wait for this to download. You click that, run it, click all the next, finish it, whatever the default, it will install. And then you will have something uh, come up that looks like this. Now this may be a little intimidating at first, uh, but I'm going to show you guys how to very easily set it up. So uh, start things off. I uh, don't know why this is named that, but you're going to need to create a scene. Now to add a scene, you name it whatever now, you want. I personally have all these set up, so this should simply be gaming, and I have all my different games, whatever, here. Now, going to your settings, and this is where things are pretty complicated. I personally have my theme set on dark, uh, you can also do default, it's just a lot brighter on my eyes. Uh, this pretty much can all stay the same. Your stream, you're going to put your stream key in here, which you can get off your dashboard in Twitch, in YouTube, whatever streaming service you use. Uh, if you go into output, this is where things are. You're going to want to do advanced. You're going to, uh, personally, I have mine rescaled to 1280 by 720 That's what I record all my videos in. I use the X264 or Times264 encoder and uh, just the audio track one. I use rate control CBR, 3500 bit rate. This is um, depending on your internet speed. Personally, I can do 3500. You may want to start around 1200 and see how it works. Zero keyframe intervals, very fast. The lower or the slower you make this, the higher quality, but the more CPU intensive it is. Uh, profile none, tune none. Uh, the rest of this just regular. Recording is quite simple. You put whatever recording path you want, recording format, MP4, record whatever tracks you want. I currently only use one. I'm going to be splitting out multiple tracks in the future. Well, I'll make a video on that. Rescale to 1280 by 720. Use the stream encoder. That simply just uses all of these settings for recording as well. Audio, uh, set whatever you want. Again, it depends on what audio track you're using for what. Now in here, personally, I have this set to the 44.1. Basic stuff, my microphone, uh, my desktop audio device default, set this to your headphones. Um, simple stuff right there. Now the video, you're going to want to do your monitor size as the base. This is what it's recording. And then 1280 by 720 is the output. 1920 by 7, or by 1080, I think that's what might, what it, might be what it is for 1080. Depends on what you want. Your common FPS values, you can change this 30, 60, 25, 45, whatever you want, uh, 30 and 60 being the mainstream. I personally use Bicubic, uh, 16 samples for my video. Uh, hotkeys, I pretty much just use start recording, stop recording, simple as that. Um, you can set a lot of hotkeys though, which is very useful. Uh, advanced, you want your normal process priority. Um, on a, uh, your tr whatever you want to render, direct 3D11 is what I use. NV12, 601 partial. I don't really know what most of this stuff is. This is just what I have set. And it's quite simple as that. Now, I'll go ahead and demonstrate. Uh, so, monitor one properties. In here, it is simply capturing my display. If I close OBS, look, uh, uh, Chrome pops back up. Open it back up, it goes away. Uh, now for a game capture, however, it's going to, you know, you're going to set it for your window um, and then you're going to leave it at that ca capture specific window. Uh, for your audio levels, you can see this green line is, buff or is yeah, buffering and showing how loud it is. And that's pretty much all you need to know. You can add all of your different, um, your overlays, your image, game capture, monitor capture. 
uh, your audio input and output, your window capture, everything you guys need to know for starting your own videos. After that, you simply open up the folder where your video is saved to and upload it to YouTube. And uh, yeah, that's going to be all for this video, folks. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to leave a like. I'm going to be making more of these tutorials in the near future. And uh, as always, if you did enjoy, I'll definitely see you in the next one.